So I'll uh, start with a little on Intersect. We're a not-for-profit organisation that provides a variety of e-research services to our members, uh, which at present are scattered across New South Wales, Victoria and the ACT. We also edge into Queensland a little. And one of our most valued services is that of our, uh, the training that we provide. And this year we're going to deliver over 200 courses, uh, which equates to approximately one every working day of the year. So this is one of our most popular member services and it keeps us pretty busy. So um, historically, our training courses have covered rather more advanced research computing challenges. Uh, we train in a range of different topics that are organised into compute, software and data elements. And the data elements are ones that perhaps require less technical background and this is where research data management fits in. Um, one of the challenges that we have as a, uh, as a company is that our membership is broad and diverse. So if you recall my first slide, you would have seen that geographically our members are in numerous locations across a number of different states, and some members even have a number of different campuses. And our members also have different uh, capabilities when it comes to supporting their researchers in data management. So some have e-research departments, some have very active libraries that assist researchers, some have policies and procedures in place and so on. And uh, some even have infrastructure that provides tools and software to assist with data management but others don't. Um, we're also in a fortunate position in which we're being approached more and more these days to deliver training to external organisations such as government departments, etc. So given this landscape, we've been building our training capabilities to be scalable and flexible enough to deliver research data and, and our other training opportunities in a more tailored fashion to our members and uh, potential future members. So traditionally, we've had a very hands-on approach to training. We organise group training headed up by an expert trainer with the local institutional intersect e-research analysts uh, on hand to provide a one-on-one -on -one approach where this is required. And this model is hugely popular across our whole membership. It actually enables attendees to get help with practical exercises and it introduces them to the local e-research analysts so that they can call on them for future help. It actually also means that our researchers can use the training course as an opportunity to present a real-life research challenge that they've been grappling with, and they often get a resolution to this then and there. And this model is also good for Intersect, as it can uh, lead to further research streamlining activities that we can provide through uh, our consultation and software engineering service. We actually enable all our attendees to access all course materials and exercises after the course so that they can actually continue their technology learning after the, the course is concluded. Um, in research data management, this means that our attendees leave with the beginnings of a research data management plan, which they can actually continue to refine as their research goes on. But um, as you can imagine, this model, whilst it's really popular, it doesn't lend itself all that well to scalability. So we have a number of members who have distributed campuses, which means that catering to researchers on different campuses means holding a greater number of courses with all the associated logistical challenges. Um, and so along with new opportunities uh, arising from the Ecola review recommendations around the HDR experience, we've actually been able to work with uh, some members to evolve our training model. So we've been developing a digital research program for HDR students uh, that provides a skills development framework which engenders students with broader transferable skills. And this program consists of six different awareness raising and training courses. Uh, there's an introductory course, a course on digital footprint, citizen science, big data, database concepts, and of course, research data management. But what does this look like uh, practically? Well, the biggest change is that we've moved to a fully digital format. And this enables our members who have distributed campuses to access uh, webinars from one or two or three or perhaps multiple universities even at once. Um, students can log in from home or wherever they like really. Um, this is good from the university perspective as um, we're catering for their students at any location, which is something that our members report they've always struggled to respond to when providing their, their teaching resources to uh, their more remote students. It also means that Intersect has less logistics to deal with and we can train more of our members in one go. Um, but what about the, the hands-on approach that I mentioned before? Um, this is really hugely popular. Um, but our, our model that we've come up with, this digital model, does incorporate a uh, secondary online expert that can uh, respond to student questions and provide additional context and uh, perhaps even enable those solutions to real-life research challenges just as before. 
Um, so we're even looking into the possibility of having local research data management resources participate here. So for example, we could have uh, some local librarians assisting with the online moderating or, or information provision. So again, this, this enables students' awareness of the local resources available to them, which they can refer to in future. And uh, where the university requires it, we've also actually introduced an assessment process into the program which consists of a series of digital comprehension Q&As that a student completes throughout the webinar. Um, this verifies that we're actually providing a quality teaching um, environment, and let's face it, it also enforces the required attention span. Um, so the program materials are also being uh, provided to students at completion so that they can refer back to these and investigate items accordingly. Uh, for research data management, this means further info is available on local policies, procedures, and they also get to initiate that digital research data management plan. Um, and finally, we actually have the potential to blend both of these models, models into one, um, where we might have a large cohort of, of uh, students assemble in a computer lab on a main campus uh, for the program webinars, and the local uh, institutional ERA or e-research e analyst can actually be present in the room to provide that uh, more traditional one-on-one -on -one experience where needed. So as before, this not only introduces students to the e-research analyst, but it also provides avenues for any eventual uh, consultation potential. Um, we've also been working on a continuous improvement initiative where we enable surveys and follow-up um, aspects. And this is helping us to build a view as to the qualitative elements to our training offerings um, in addition to the more traditional quantitative ones. So I'll, um, I'll leave it there, but I'm happy to uh, provide more information to people offline. So thanks, Karen.